Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 8. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about that is how can we include our assets file. Here assets file includes all about including style sheets file as well as JavaScript files. So to include our style sheets file means CSS as well as JavaScript, we have multiple ways inside this code igniter. So we will discuss two methods. First, by the use of URL helper and the second, by the help of HTML helper. So simply, what I will do if I back to directory structure, as we know that public folder is that folder in which we will store all public accessible files. So for CSS, what I will do, create a CSS folder for JS. Let's create another folder with the name of JS inside this CSS folder. I will create a new file with the name called style.css and inside this JS folder, I will create a file with the name of script.js. Now open up this file inside our gedit editor. CSS, also open this file now for understanding what I will do, I will add a simple line of comment in these two files. So this is a sample JavaScript file. Go to style.css, make a single line comment. So this is multi-line syntax actually. So this is a sample file of CSS. Save these changes, close these two files back to editor now this is our master template inside this master template right now we have a simple html let's suppose we have a website in that website we have multiple css as well as multiple javascript files attached so what will be the better way to include those files inside code igniter 4 so we are going to see or discuss two approaches the first all about URL helper and the second about HTML helper. So very first steps, first you need to go inside controllers folder, open up called base controller and inside this helpers array, let's declare a URL helper. And also in accordance with this URL helper, we need to set our app URL path. So where we can set app URL path, simply for the configuration, we need to go inside this config folder, click on app.php and right now we have localhost 8080. So instead of that, what I will do, simply copy this URL. Keep in mind, I have copied the URL without public. In upcoming videos, also we'll see that how can we remove public from URL. So public is not the application. This is our application structure. Back to our master layout file. Inside this, let's say that we are going to implement or add our style sheets file. So as we know that to attach any style sheets file, we have a link tag. Inside this, we have relation equal to a style sheet. And here we have called href and inside this so what I will do I will use base URL this is the function which is available while loading our URL helper base URL is going to give what we have defined the base URL here if suppose we have attached public then this function is going to return the public otherwise inside this URL we don't have any public keyword so simply it is going to return this URL but as we know that our assets file is stored inside this public folder. So what we have to do, we need to go inside this public folder. Keep in mind, we didn't include public here. If suppose you have included, you don't need to actually include public here. So public, we need to go inside this CSS folder and we have the file called style.css. Again, what I will do, go add this footer i'm going to attach our script file so here we have a script tag and inside this script tag we have src attribute 
we are going to use base URL and as we know that we need to go inside public folder JS folder and the file we have called script.js attached successfully go and reload this page right click view page source this is our CSS path so when we click on that this is all about what the comment we have written go inside here click on that and this is all about the inclusion of JavaScript file so this is our first approach what we had seen now in the next means second method we are going to use our HTML helper so what I will do back to base controller let's load one more helper with the name of HTML after loading this HTML now we are able to use some of functions provided by HTML helper now if I make comment of this line go here and to attach our CSS files we have a function available called link underscore tag inside this we need to pass the path so it should be public CSS and we need to write style.css keep in mind here we have written HTML but inside this syntax we don't have any HTML because behind the scene this function is going to generate dynamic link tag now for style sheets files or script files if I make comment of this line so for JavaScript files we have another function called script underscore tag and inside this we need to pass public JS and this should be script.js now if you save this change go and reload this page now we have as we can see a link tag generated click on that this is all about our CSS file this is JavaScript file and here we are getting so successfully as we had seen that there are two ways apart from these two ways also we have multiple ways now let's say that if we have some error while loading this HTML helper something HTML1 this helper does not exist so that's why these functions will not be available so if we go and reload this page now as we can see that we are getting error something called to undefined function link underscore tag so keep in mind while using these functions you need to declare properly all about the helpers so inside this video all we have discussed that how can we include our CSS as well as JavaScript files so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day